All right, so I have a lot of people ask me um, how I get my big illustrations, you know, scanned in and put together. Um, you know, a lot of questions I get asked are, do I piece them together? And the answer is no. I or I I don't do it personally, but I use a program called Bridge. Okay. Um, what I've done here already is I've made two scans of one image. Um, you could see, you know, I only scanned half of the image and then the other half. And you'll notice there is an overlap. You can see the family's heads here. And you can see the family's heads here as well. But this one has the top and this one has the bottom of the illustration. So what I'm going to do is just to kind of help me out, I'm going to put them in their own little folder. Uh, doesn't matter what you name it, just remember you know where you put it. I usually put it on the desktop, it's a little bit easier to access. And then I open Adobe Bridge. I have version 6, but I think Adobe Bridge goes all the way back to uh, the first CS, Creative Suite. Um, and it, and it, you know, it may look a little bit different with CS6, but it's, it's generally the same from what I understand. Okay. But you'll notice on the left here, um, on the left here we have desktop, so I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to find that folder and there's 01 right there, I named it 01. And here are the two images and you can see over here it gives me a little preview of the images. I'm going to open this up. And what you can actually do is you can rotate them. Okay, I think the buttons are here on the new version but I think they may be over in this area um, in an older version. Okay, So some of the buttons are over here over here. Basically you're looking for a rotate button. And you don't necessarily have to do this but I've noticed that it cuts down on a little time. Um, I should also note that I, I did scan these at 1200 dots per inch in um, line art uh, or bitmap format. So they're pretty big files. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the shift key down and select both. So then I can see both. They do not have to be lined up perfectly like this. Sometimes it's a happy accident it happens. Um, but, you know, make sure you can see every part of the image, okay? The big pieces that I do, like what's wrong, so that sillies, I work about 16 by 18 inches. Um, I scan those six or seven or even eight times um, just to get a good overlap because they're so busy. And then what I'm going to do is I go up to Tools right here, and I go to Photoshop and Photo Merge. And then what you'll see is you'll see Photoshop open. Um, and just give it a few minutes. Okay, fine with any any program, especially Photoshop. Um, you know, give it give it moments to breathe. Okay, don't do anything else. And then what you'll see here is that it gives me different options. It gives me auto, perspective, cylindrical, spherical, collage, reposition. I usually just hit auto. Um, and then you'll notice the files here are already selected. They don't have to be highlighted. They're already there, and then I just hit OK. And then basically Photoshop will get to work. Just take your hands off of it, okay, especially with these big files, and let it do its work. Don't do anything else. Don't touch the keyboard. Don't do anything. I have a pretty powerful Mac Pro, um, and I still run into problems, you know, if I decide, say, to surf the web or do something else, um, you know, while it's, it's working. So just step away. Go get a cup of coffee or something. Um, and come back. Okay, but you can see it's kind of piecing it together. I'm not touching the keyboard, I'm not touching my mouse, nothing. Okay, it's working on its own. While it's doing this, I just wanted to uh, point out that the more line art there is, like this is a black and white piece, you can do this with color, of course, and it will stitch it together seamlessly. Um, but with black and line, black and white line art, um, I've noticed that the more lines you have kind of the busier uh, the illustration is, the easier it has, the easier uh, it, you know, it is for the program to find the pieces to put together, okay? If you have very little line art, if it's a simple illustration, it has a hard time finding, um, you know, where it should connect, okay? So, you know, it, it may not be the thing for you if um, you have a big piece that's just very simple, okay? Um, a lot of straight lines, you know, that kind of confuses the program. But something like this, a hidden picture, is perfect because it's very busy. Um, so the program has a lot of different uh, things to kind of find to piece it together. Okay, should be done in a second. 
And you can see here, it's already created two layers. It brought them both, both in and stitched together. There you go. And that's pretty much it. Um, and then what I do is I come down here to the layers palette. Okay, in the bottom right hand corner right here in the layers palette. Your layers palette may be somewhere else. But if you can't find it, just go to window under layers. But um, go to the layers palette and then I, I flatten it. I go flatten the image. And then after I'm done that, I zoom in. You know, I won't do this on camera, but I'll, uh, you know, I'll look for any errors. Sometimes, uh, you know, a line may have, may have a little bit of a wiggle to it. Um, but it's your job to kind of look for that, okay? You may have somebody else look at it. Maybe they'll, you know, have a more critical eye. Um, but, you know, everything looks good here. Everything looks pretty, pretty clean, okay? Other than little corrections I have to make anyway. Um, everything looks pretty cleaned up, okay? And that's it. And then I save it after I flatten it. Um, obviously save it, whatever you want to call it. Um... I'll just call it 01, save time, and then I save it as a Photoshop document, a PSD, okay, which is in the format right here. And then I hit save. And that's it. And you can, you know, you can do that with huge pieces. Again, you can do it with full color paintings. Um, just scan it in sections. Make sure, again, you have at least two or three inches of overlap. Um, and, you know, with color, it's even better because color, uh, it, it actually works a little bit faster. Um, and it will, uh, you know, it won't, there won't be any weird color transition. It should stitch it seamlessly. It's, it's pretty amazing. It's like magic. All right. I hope that helps. I know people have been asking me that for a while. All right. Bye. Love you guys. Not if I can only turn this off. Where are you?